Have you ever dreamed of visiting beautiful Indonesia? A tropical island archipelago with over 17,000 islands, but only about 7,000 of them are inhabited. If islands like Bali or Giliti are too touristy for you, there are countless other breathtaking places to discover, such as untouched island paradises like Sumba or Mentawais. In this travel guide, we will present to you our 6 best islands in Indonesia for your next trip. Number 1. Bali So let's start with the first and probably most famous one, Bali. Bali is known as the island of gods, as it is home to numerous temples, thus it has a very spiritual vibe. If you like to visit one, don't forget to bring us around. Though, the main reason why people come to Bali is definitely for party and surf. The main tourist hotspots, such as Kuta, Seminyak and Canggu, are the new home to many influencers, but also Uluwatu is considered as a good place for surfers too. Going more inland to the center of the island, you can find the city of Ubud. So if you are not a beach type of person, you will have the possibility to hike a volcano like Mount Batur, which is an absolutely unique experience, especially during sunrise. Otherwise, visit one of the many beautiful waterfalls the island has to offer, opt for yoga class or just relax at the spa in one of the many beautiful jungle resorts in the area. You can find a hotel recommendation in the description down below. As being an island, there are of course many beautiful beaches everywhere. Though the current is very strong and the waves are too big for swimming, but surfers love them. So if you are planning to visit with children or like a more relaxed stay at the beach, you should opt for the Nusa Dua area where the water is shallow and calm. In general, Bali is rather cheap, though it still might be one of the more expensive islands in Indonesia due to the big amount of tourists visiting every year. Number 2. Nusa Penida Nusa Penida is a neighboring island of Bali and can easily be visited during a day trip. Just take the ferry at the port of Sanur, which will take you to the magnificent island in about one hour. Nusa Penida is less developed than Bali, though as beautiful. The small island has magnificent beaches too. Just be aware that some of them are very hard to get to due to the broken stairs down. If you are brave and sporty enough, you can make it down to Kalinking Beach in about one hour of hiking and get rewarded with a white sand beach almost for yourself. Not that adventurous? Go for Diamond Beach or Atu Beach instead, located at the other side of the island. We recommend bringing some walking shoes with you for easier climbing or hiking on the island. Getting around Nusa Penida is very easy. You either hire a driver or ride a scooter by yourself. Further, visit Angel's Billabong in Broken Beach and enjoy eating lunch or dinner in a local room. If you decide to stay overnight, Nusa Penida has very cute tree houses at Ruma Pohon with a stunning view over the cliffs and the sea. Even though it is not a true glamping experience, you should at least go there for taking a picture. Are you a fan of Love Beyond Nations? Remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our upcoming video. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like our content. Cause I was made to be free. Number 3. The Gili Islands The Gilis are three very small islands next to Lombok. They can either be reached by fast boat from Bali taking about two and a half hours or by plane when flying to Lombok. From there, it takes you only a 45 minute boat ride to reach one of these islands. Gili Travangan, the biggest of them all, is known as the party hotspot in the area, so you may encounter many young people coming here for holiday and pub crawl. Though, the island has a calmer side too, where you can watch a perfect romantic sunset. Something very unique to all the Gili Islands is a car-free environment due to the ban of motorized vehicles. So you mainly get around by bike, foot or take the horse carriage. If possible, we absolutely recommend the first two options as not all horses are treated well and have to work hard under the burning sun. To get from one island to the other, you can take a local boat taking about 10 minutes. Right between the islands of Gilimeno and Travangan, there are some mystical underwater statues you can visit during a snorkel trip. We suggest taking a private boat tour and go there early in the morning as a lot of tourists will come there during the day. Gili Air, the smallest one, is so tiny that you can walk from one end to the other in just 20 minutes and is mainly visited by couples. If you have some spare time left, head over to Lombok, a less touristy and relaxing beach destination. Number 4. Flores People mainly come to Flores because of its stunning nature and crystal clear sea. Due to its secluded location, it is also the perfect destination for those wanting to avoid mass tourism. Flores is known as one of the best places in Indonesia to go diving, snorkeling and swimming with manta rays. The local airport of Flores, called Komodo Airport, near the city of Labuan Bajo, is reachable with domestic flights only, from mostly Jakarta or Bali. The best way to experience this beautiful island paradise is by doing a boat cruise through the Komodo National Park and visit various islands such as Komodo Island or Padar Island. 
The first one gets its name because of the Komodo dragons that live there, the largest living species of lizards on Earth. Even if they may seem harmless, it's better to keep your distance. Their venomous bite can kill a human within hours. Padar Island, instead, is an impressive island where you can hike up the viewpoint or relax on either white, black or pink sand beaches. These cruises usually last for several days and there are different options available depending on your budget and interest. You further have the option to either join a group or to charter your own boat, which in our opinion is one of the coolest ways to experience a magical trip with your friends or your family. If you prefer staying on mainland, you can go for a hike to the traditional village of Wairebo and to spend the night there to get an insight of the local lifestyle. Number 5. Sumba Just south of Flores lies the beautiful island of Sumba, in gem in Indonesia. There are not many party and shopping facilities available on the island, therefore it is a perfect place to calm down from the hustle of Bali and connect with friendly locals. The wild sandalwood horses gallop near the beaches and offer an impressive and unique experience like no other. Further, you can even take a swim with them in the sea or opt for a beautiful horseback ride on the beach. The most famous beach of Sumba Island is the Valakiri Beach, a place with beautiful mangrove trees getting even more impressive during sunset. Coming here with your better half and want an experience like no other, then the Nihi Sumba Resort and Spa 5 Star Hotel is the place to go. This hotel was voted the best in the world in two consecutive years by Travel and Leisure magazine. Besides visiting some local villages and buying some handcrafts, you should consider taking a boat tour which can be organized by your hotel. There you can catch your own dinner and enjoy a nice evening while grilling your fish on a small island watching the sunset. Before we go on with our last island, there is an honorable mention we did not want to skip, the Mentawais. We haven't been on this beautiful island group yet, but after researching we found out that these islands are really worth a visit too. Especially for surfers, these islands provide some excellent conditions as they have a similar surfing culture than Bali, although offering a more laid-back vibe. Number 6. Raja Ampat Last but not least, Raja Ampat is probably the most beautiful place in whole Indonesia. It is known to be the last paradise. This may be because of no mass tourism, as getting there is rather complicated. You first have to fly to Jakarta, then take another flight to Sarong in West Papua, and from there take a ferry to the island of your choice. After a seemingly never-ending travel, you will get rewarded with crystal clear waters and being welcomed by local children smiling at you. Raja Ampat is mostly not a high-end travel destination, as the holders are really trying their best to keep the island eco-friendly, although sleeping in an overwatch bungalow is possible. And who needs a 5-star hotel when you can watch millions of stars right from your bungalow? Raja Ampat is a perfect place to learn more about the marine life, go diving and snorkeling. You will also have the great opportunity to get to know the locals living on the islands. To make your contribution to keep this place eco-friendly, try at least to use reef-friendly sunscreen, which doesn't harm the corals, and avoid plastic as much as you can. These islands are just made for disconnecting with the daily stress of the Western life.